Okay, so this is question number one of November 2020, component 5.2, S1, A levels mathematics S1. Question number one says, the fair six-sided die with faces marked one, two, three, four, five, six is thrown repeatedly until a four is obtained. Find the property that obtaining a four requires fewer than six throws. So probability in a six-sided die, what's the property of getting a four? So the property of getting a four is just one over six because there's only one four out of the six numbers that we have. It says find the property that obtaining a four requires fewer than six throws. So we have to find the property of X being less than six, which means property of X can be less than equal to five. Now it doesn't say how many times are we going to throw the dice. So N over here is not given. Whenever we do not have N and it's not given, it's a geometric distribution. So we know that X is distributed geometrically with the probability of P, where P is one over six and Q will be, of not getting a four, will be five over six. Now for any distribution that we need to find, for any property that we need to find in geometric distribution, we have the probability of anything that we need to find of greater than, so we have X is greater than the required number that we need to find. And that is given as Q to the power of R. That's the formula which we're gonna use. Now it says fewer than six throws. Fewer than six throws means X can be less than or equal to five, but it cannot be more than five. It cannot be six, seven, eight, or anything like that. So we are gonna find, so for this question, we are gonna say the property of X is greater than five. If I take this as greater than five, I will be getting this Q to the power of five. And if I do one minus from that, that's gonna give me the property of X being, so if I do one minus the property of getting this as X is greater than five, that's gonna give me the property that X is less than or equal to five. That's gonna give me the property right over here. Find the property that obtaining a four requires fewer than six throws. Fewer than six throws will be one minus that it can be greater than five. It, that it can require greater than five throws. So for this X being greater than five, I have this as Q to the power of five. So I will do one minus Q to the power of five, which is one minus Q, the property of not getting a four, which is five over six to the power of five. And I get this as 0 0.598 to 3SF, and that's the answer. Now part two, on another occasion, the die is thrown 10 times. So we have N now as 10, we know we are throwing it 10 times. Find the property that of four, and so you need to find the property of four. So the property will be one over six. Of getting a four, the probability of not getting a four will be five over six. So we have N, P, and Q. Find the probability that four is obtained at least three times. So it's obtained at least three times. So that's going to be greater than or equal to three. So we can get this three times, four times, five times, and keeps on going till all the 10 times, because we're going to throw this 10 times. So if we need to work out the property of three or greater than three, we will work out the property of this by finding this one minus the property of this being less than three, which is gonna be one minus the probability that property of zero plus probability of one plus probability of two. So one minus the probability of getting it zero times, one time or three, the second time is gonna give us the probability of it being greater than or equal to three. So if we work this out, we will get one minus, now remember the, this is binomial distribution. So this is distributed binomially with N and P. 
where n is 10 and p is 1 over 6 to find the probability of, of getting a 4. So we can write this like this. And the formula for our binomial distribution is nc x p x q n minus x, where x is the number of times you're finding it. So now we have one minus property of this being zero. So if we apply zero over here, n is going to be 10. This is going to be zero. So that's just going to give us one. Now probability is one over six. X is zero so to the power zero. And this is just going to give us Q, which is going to be five over six to the power of N minus X, which is again, 10 minus zero. So that's just going to give us 10. So this is what you're getting, 5 over 6 to the power of 10 for p probability of 0. Plus, for the next one, we will get, get 10 c1, 1 over 6, 5 over 6 to the power of 9, plus 10 c2, 1 over 6 to the power of 2, 5 over 6 to the power of 8. And we get these three properties, 0, 1, and 2. 1 minus 0, 1, and 2 will give us that it is greater than or equal to at least 3, greater than or equal to 3. So if you work this out on the calculator, you will be getting the values as this, 0 0.1615 plus 0 0.3230 plus 0 0.2907. And the final answer will be 0 0.225 to 3SF. That's the answer. That's question number one done.